Hello, welcome to the Friday, July 20th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Cisco released another set of updates yesterday, fixing 23 different flaws across its products. Now, one product particularly hit hard this time is Cisco's policy suite. It was hit with four critical vulnerabilities, meaning they provide unauthenticated access to an ad hacker. Now, one of these vulnerabilities was yet another default password. There is a good and a bad side to Policy Suite being affected. First of all, it's not a very popular product. It's really something that's only used by large enterprises, by ISPs and such, to define bandwidth rules across their network. So this is nothing you'll find in smaller companies and hopefully the people who do run this particular piece of software have been informed by Cisco. But the bad part to it, well, it is being run by very large uh, networks. And as a result, if it's not being fixed, then this could lead to some larger disruption. Well, talking about some more popular devices, researchers at Positive Technologies found vulnerabilities in a home vacuum cleaner. Now, this particular vacuum cleaner isn't exactly a market leader. It's Dongquan DG360. I couldn't find it on the US Amazon website, so not sure in what countries it's actually being sold. One little twist this particular model brings to vacuum cleaner is that it also acts as a video surveillance system. You can remote control the vacuum cleaner and using a built-in camera, you can essentially you know, check if everything is okay at home. Of course, that particular part does lend itself to abuse and yes, there are vulnerabilities in this vacuum cleaner that could be exploited via, for example, unauthenticated UDP packets on the network the vacuum cleaner is connected to. Typically, this is probably not easy to exploit due to these vacuum cleaners being located behind NAT. So an attacker would first have to have access to the network itself. A second vulnerability is even more difficult to exploit in that an attacker first would have to insert a malicious SD card into this vacuum. So while overall not a big deal, keep in mind that having cameras in your house connected network may not be the best thing for your privacy. Also, cameras start to show up in other automatic vacuum cleaners, not for this surveillance aspect as this vacuum cleaner, but just to better recognize the room they operate in. And as pointed out in the vulnerability report, the particular camera module that is the actual vulnerable subsystem here is used in other surveillance gear as well. And Instagram recently has been heavily criticized for not supporting a robust two-factor authentication option. The only option Instagram has offered so far was SMS. Now, with Instagram being used by big brands and such as part of their social media presence, Instagram accounts have been subject to attacks that use things like port out scams in order to obtain this SMS information. In a port out scam, what an attacker typically does is they convince the phone company to transfer the phone number to a particular new device. And in doing so, they can now do the two factor authentication with the website. A better option, Google's two factor authentication is apparently now implemented in the mobile software for Instagram however, not made public yet. So I guess it's only a matter of a few days or so for Instagram actually opening up this new feature to the public. And ever wondered what to do if you are running into a malicious website, a phishing website, or anything like that? Well, uh, Kevin Liston updated his diary on how to report malicious websites. 
The original article was actually published in 2010 and since then there have been of course a lot of changes, a lot of websites have now moved to the cloud, Whois has changed somewhat in how they're publishing abuse contact information. So take a look at his diary to see what he suggests. Well and this is it for today, thanks for listening and talk to you again on Monday, bye.